Hey everyone, welcome back to a new and amazing After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this awesome animation. Before we start, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Name it Main Comp, set the height and width to a 16 by 9 ratio, then press OK. After that, click here, select a title safe action, and then select the pen tool. Create a line like this using the pen tool. Then select this layer, go to the Add option and choose Trim Path. Create keyframes for both the end and start values. Set the end value to 0. Go to 1 second, change the end value to 100, and also adjust the start value. Now select all keyframes, press F9 for easy ease, and then select the start keyframe. Offset them by 5 frames. Preview the animation and adjust it as needed. Next, duplicate this layer. Change its anchor point to the middle of the composition. Press R for rotation and rotate it by 100 degrees. Duplicate this layer again and rotate it by 210 degrees. If you're not satisfied, you can adjust its rotation again. Select all the keyframes, go to the graph editor and tweak the handles like this. Then, cut all the layers by pressing Alt plus closing bracket. Now, select the circle tool by pressing Q twice on your keyboard. Create a perfect circle by holding the Shift key, center align it, and change the stroke to none and the fill to any color you like. Create a keyframe for the scale, drag it a little bit ahead, and change the scale value to zero. Then create a bounce type animation on the scale. Next, select all the line layers. Go to the search bar and search for cap, then change the butt cap to round cap for all layers. Select the text tool, Write your desired text, for example, outlay, and change its font to whatever you like. Center align the text, then reduce the opacity. After that, select the pen tool, change its fill to none, set the stroke to around 20, and create a path around the text like this. Go to the Add option and add a trim path. Set keyframes for the start and end values. Set the end value to 0. Then, move a few frames ahead and change the end value to 100, as well as the start value. Select all the keyframes, press F9, and offset the start keyframe by 5 frames. Go to the Graph Editor and tweak the handles. Then, go to the search bar, search for cap, and change the butt cap to round cap. Again, search for taper and change the starting length to 100 or around 80, based on your preference. Adjust the stroke of the line and cut the circle layer by holding Alt plus closing bracket. Solo the outlay text layer and change its opacity back to 100. Right-click on it, go to Create, and click Create Shapes from Text. Now, duplicate this outlay shape layer five times. For each duplicated layer, delete all shape layers except the corresponding letter. Name each layer according to the letter. Change the color of the U to A layers to yellow. And the O and Y layers to green. 
Deselect all layers and select the circle layer. Create a circle over the O shape layer. Hide it and change its color for better visibility. We'll create a mask for the O layer using the circle layer. With the circle layer selected, go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for Set Matte, and apply it to the circle layer. Change the Set Matte option to O. Hide the O layer and click the Shy button. Now select the O Reveal layer, change its color back to white, and go to the Add option. Add a trim path to the layer. Create a keyframe for the end value and set it to zero. Move a few frames ahead and set the end value to 100. Search for cap and change the butt cap to round cap. Next, select the line layer and the O reveal layer. Combine them perfectly Adjust the offset as needed and press F9 to adjust the keyframes. Solo the Y layer. Create a mask over the Y layer using the pen tool. and apply the Set Matte effect to the Y Mask layer. Change the Set Matte option to Y and hide the main Y layer. And adjust its position. Rename the Mask layer to Y Reveal Copy the Trim Path keyframe from the O Reveal layer and paste it onto the Y Reveal layer. Adjust the Trim Path keyframes as needed. And search for Cap to change the Butt Cap to Round Cap. Now, select the U layer and place its anchor point at the bottom of the layer. Press S for scale, move to 21 frames ahead, and create a keyframe for the scale. Move to the middle and create another keyframe. At the beginning, unlink the dimensions and set the Y scale to zero. At the middle keyframe, increase the scale slightly. Press F9 to ease the keyframes. Do the same for the other letters. Copy the scale keyframe and paste them onto the other text layers. Offset the layers by four frames each. Next, select the pen tool and create a path for the ending animation. Cut this layer at 3 seconds and 10 frames, change the color for clarity, and copy the Trim Path keyframe from the beginning of the line reveal. Paste it on the ending line layer and adjust the keyframes to your preference. Now select the Y Reveal layer and create a keyframe for the end trim path. Move to the end, copy the first keyframe of the trim path ending and paste it here to fade out the Y Reveal animation.
Next, select the ending line layer, search for cap, and change its butt cap to round cap. Then search for stroke width, create a keyframe, and move a few frames ahead. Increase the width slightly to cover or reveal the text behind it. And at the end, set it to zero. For the A layer, create a keyframe for its scale. Move two frames ahead and change the scale to zero. Copy this keyframe and paste it onto other text layers. For the O reveal layer, do the same. Create a keyframe for the end trim path and move a few frames ahead. Copy the star keyframe and paste it here to fade out the O layer. Duplicate the ending line layer and change its color to blue. Create a keyframe at the middle of the trim path. And set both the start and end values to the same. Duplicate the layer again and repeat the process. Now pre-compose the beginning three line layers. Duplicate the pre-comp layer and offset it by one frame. Go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for Fill, and apply it to the main precomp layer. Change the color to blue to create a more interesting animation. Do the same with the beginning line layer. And the Y reveal layer. Apply the fill effect to the Y reveal layer. Select the text between the O and Y layers and pre-comp them. Name it Remain Text. Go to the Project panel, duplicate the pre-comp layer, and go under the Remain Text 2 layer. Change the Fill to None for this text layer. Increase the Stroke and apply the Fill effect. Go back to the main composition. Drag the Remain Text duplicate behind the original Remain Text comp and offset it by one frame. Right click on the timeline, add an adjustment layer and apply the glow effect. So this is our final animation. You can use this technique in many ways for your animations. Don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Instagram for more amazing content, tips, and tricks. See you in the next tutorial.